Welcome back to another episode of the Ark Survival Guide. Uh, so as you can see here, we have an Argent Avis flying around in the distance. I don't know if it's the same one that flew down the beach and freaked us out earlier, but uh, he is just kind of aimlessly wandering around near our base and kind of freaking me out. So uh, I don't really have a ton of arrows to fight this guy with, but uh, he's really the only thing we have to worry about up here on this plateau because even a Rex shouldn't be able to touch our dinosaurs up here. It's pretty high up. But it doesn't help at all if the uh, enemy can fly. Now, I have no way of telling what level this guy is. I wish I'd been able to build a spyglass at some point, but I haven't found any crystal so far. Usually that's in higher level areas, and uh, I don't really want to go after that yet. So, this guy could be pretty dangerous. He could be stronger than a lot of predators. I'm trying to decide if I should just preemptively attack this guy and get some hits in before he gets to me, or if I should... Uh, I think maybe he's aiming around he may just fly off I'm hoping he does because uh, he could be really bad news and it looks like he's kinda coming straight at us oh gosh so can't really tell what this guy's doing but uh, he's coming straight down okay this could be bad I gotta be ready to fight gotta be ready to fight and up oh, here he goes he's after my dinos okay gotta fight him gotta fight him <laughs> this is not good this is really not good okay Watch out for that tail. Um, yeah, yeah, we just, this could be really bad. So right now he's fighting my dinos. Uh, they're fighting back a little bit. I'm going to try to get them off this plateau because this is getting really dangerous. Okay. Oh gosh, here we go. Here we go. He looks like he might be a lower level than I thought, but we are still... Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, he's down. He's down. Thank God he was a really low level. I am mostly dead. Oh gosh, now I'm almost completely dead after jumping off. Forgot in the heat of a moment that, uh, you know, I'll take some serious fall damage there. My legs are broken, but I'm still alive. That's the important part. And that's just a turtle next to me. I heard the footsteps and kind of freaked out. That Allosaur, I think, has gone down the beach and disappeared at this point, but he may be anywhere around. You can always expect they'll come back, just in case. Um, so, I'm going to try to get my dinosaurs back up this pole as fast as possible, and try to keep everybody safe, because yikes. Yeah, as you can see, that Argent is huge. That is crazy. So, yeah, I can't believe we survived that. Let me see if I can get some of this uh, meat off of this guy. I'm actually uh, pretty close to starving, too, and I don't have a lot of food supplies, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to get down here and see if I can get my dinos all back safely on the plateau. Oh, you can see he's got this little bag here. That's uh, whatever... Oh, a hat. Nice. That's whatever stuff that the Argent ate from uh, probably eating other survivors or something. So uh, I'm going to take the saddle off this Parasaur so I can take it down to the other one. I still only have one Parasaur saddle for two Parasaurs, but it's a lot more efficient that way because I don't want to waste a saddle building on uh, to make another Parasaur. Uh, let's see, do I need anything else from this guy? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just about to starve and I don't have any more meat, so I'm just going to eat his food instead. So That'll keep me alive just long enough to get my dinos back up here. Of course I would start starving right about now, and I'm kind of freezing too, which is going to make me starve faster, so it is a rough night right now. So, let's see here. I'm going to try to get my Parasaur back up here, because I have a saddle. I can get him up pretty quickly. And let's get him up the tightrope too. That's the only really bad thing about this base, is I have to walk the tightrope every time I do anything with these dinos. Once again, you can... Uh, toggle sprinting by clicking on the left stick on the uh, PS4 and that's gonna make you either sprint or go slowly and I have to go slowly with every dinosaur going up there because uh, if they go fast they'll just fall right off that that uh, log there okay I'm using the ladder because I took a lot of damage and I still probably can't take another fall right now and let's see here I'm not seeing my raptors okay so on the PS4 there is my raptor. Good, good, good. And she's standing on a rock. That's cool. Okay, great. Sometimes if you jump up and hit triangle really fast, you can actually get on them. So I'm going to get this raptor up to safety. I still don't know if that allosaur is out there, but hopefully he's uh, long gone by now. Hopefully a turtle killed him or something. 
I'm starving again. Um, eating a bunch of berries just gets you just a little bit of time before starving. They're not great for nutrition, so I'm going to eat a lot of his food again. Okay, and I am still missing a raptor. My trike is accounted for, but I don't see my raptor. I'm worried he may have fallen off on the other side here. Um, I don't see him anywhere on the other side. So, if I hold down on the um, map button, the, the little you know, touchpad thing on the middle of the PS4 controller, then it'll actually pull up that uh, HUD menu, the little circle menu there. And if you're pointing towards a dinosaur, you'll actually see a green arrow where that dinosaur is, even if it's behind something, usually. So, let's see. Yeah, as you can see, we can see that dinosaur behind the rock a little bit. And, gosh, I'm still not seeing my raptor. I hope I didn't lose him. Every now and then, if you get into a fight, one of your dinosaurs will just run off, and you don't even know where they went. I've, I've lost an Argent that way, just flying away for no reason. Um, so I'm going to get this dinosaur, my uh, trike, up here safely because uh, I want to make sure that I can save everything I can see. So, see if he can follow me up this tightrope again. It's really hard to get him to follow, but I can feel it shaking, so I think he's right behind me. Let's see here. Oh, and I think I saw a name tag popping up there down at the bottom. Let's see. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, so he is down here in the water. That's cool. Cool, I guess. Let me see if I can get him to follow me. Okay. With my luck, there will be a sea scorpion in here. Uh, and I forgot when I jump in the water, I can't see anything. And I am freezing, which is going to make me starve even faster. So, thankfully, we have just enough moonlight and starlight to see just a little bit. Ugh, I sure hope this is shore I'm jumping up to. And I sure hope there's no sea scorpions, because I am in trouble if there are. Okay, we're back out. I don't see anything following us yet. Let's get safely off the shore and see here. Okay, see. So come on, come on, Raptor. He should be right behind me. Good, 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 okay. Let's see if he can walk up this tightrope with me here. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, a lot of predators on this beach. Uh, I'm glad I'm living on a plateau, but that doesn't help a whole lot for urgents, so... And we're starving again. Just uh, not enough berries to go around here. So I've got some meat. I just got a bunch of meat off of that Argent that I killed. So thankfully he failed to kill me and I killed him. And now I'm going to eat him. So, uh, you know, that's only fair, I think. So let's get that going. It's going to keep us from starving and from freezing. I need to get some food pretty quickly. I can't remember if I have anything stored here. Ah, I'll grab some berries at least. That'll keep me from starving while that food is cooking. Always good to have a store of backup berries, you know. It's uh, yeah. Let me grab some of these in case I need them again. Well, that was a fun time, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. So now we got some meat. I'm gonna pull that out and uh, see if I can eat some. I've got it in my hot bar. By the way, if you have something in your hot bar and you pick it up, it'll go straight into your hot bar, not your inventory. So uh, just a heads up, if you ever pick something up and you don't know why, it's not showing up in your inventory. And hey, I got this stylish cloth hat off of that uh, Argent, so, you know, that kind of worked out. I also got some Argent claws from him. And uh, those will eventually come in handy for summoning bosses. They're just kind of like a trophy saying that I killed him. So let's see, we just leveled up and uh, got 15 engram points, which is just enough to make that trike saddle. I think I'm going to make that my first priority because he is really hard to get him to follow me up that, uh, up that little tightrope thing we've been doing. So let me put that in my hot bar and let's see what we need here. I think I might have most of the materials I need for that. So yeah, let's see here. I'm going to grab all the stuff that I have. And we are still a little bit short on hide. So let's see. Oh, good. And the sun's starting to come. Oh, gosh. That's another Argent back there. That is not good. I really don't want to fight another one of those. But he's pretty far off in the distance. Hopefully he'll leave us alone. 
So a lot of times when uh, you kill stuff, your raptors will harvest and just grab the meat and hide off of them. They don't get as much meat and hide as you do, but a lot of times you'll find hide just in their inventory. And we got enough for that trike saddle, so that thing is crafting, and we should get a good experience boost too. Yeah, we did. It's also really heavy, so... Uh... Oh gosh, come on. Don't... Stay away, Argent. Stay away. I hate how they just kind of aimlessly glide around and freak you out. So, yeah, I think he's staying far enough away, so he'll hopefully just go on down the beach that way and we won't have to deal with him, so... Once again, he could be a level 5 and we could barely survive him, or uh, he could be like a level 40 and he could destroy us in a couple hits, so you never know. But, luck favors the prepared, so I got a saddle now. I am really excited about that. So now we can actually ride this trike, and that's going to really come in handy. And uh, But for now, I'm just going to get everybody as fast far away from that Argent as possible and close up the house. So, Still kind of close to starving, so I'm going to grab some food. Hopefully that Argent will leave us alone, but we're going to try to stay off the beach and stay safe. I'm going to go ahead and cook up a bunch of meat because I'll be wanting to go out soon enough, as long as that Argent flies off into the distance. So, we survived another night. We'll see you on the next episode.